Well, guys, we're going to be talking about the People's Republic of California. And this is really a follow up video to a video I did, uh, I believe, a few months ago about uh, Gavin Newsom. Now, Gavin Newsom wants to give each black person in the People's Republic of California two hundred and twenty three thousand dollars to people that's been impacted by housing discrimination. Now, guys. When I saw the number 223,000 for every black person, that comes up to something like five hundred and seventy billion dollars. And guys, California does not have that kind of money. They just don't. This is nothing more than a virtue signal by Gavin Newsom. Nothing more. But you know what? Some people are going to be very, very gullible about this thinking, hey, I'm going I'm to get some money. But yet. People are saying, hey, that's not enough. It's not enough. Well, first of all, the five hundred and seventy billion. If you thought you were going to get any of that money, you're gravely mistaken. Now, this one uh, woke person is now demanding more money. Here we go. Post millennial hip hop organizer threatens serious backlash if every black Californian doesn't receive. Check this out. Eight hundred thousand dollars in reparation payment. Yeah. Eight hundred thousand. Almost one million dollars for every single black person. Look here, Governor Newsom launched a five hundred and sixty nine billion dollar reparations plan at the end of November, which recommended that two hundred and twenty three thousand dollars and two hundred twenty three thousand two hundred dollars be delivered to each black descendant of American slavery who is a resident of California. Now, see, there's something different here. Now they're saying it's about housing discrimination between the years of 1933 and 77. And also they're saying now it's not going to be based on race, but lineage. That's not what Gavin Newsom said. You see, they're already changing things, folks. But anyway, let's read this. Following a meeting of California's reparations task force at Oakland City Hall on December 14th, an activist warned the committee that if they do not comply with his demands for eight hundred thousand dollars to be handed out to black residents, there is, quote, going to be a serious backlash. Dion Jenkins told the task force, which was formed by Governor Newsom in 2020 to compensate black Californians for discriminatory housing practices, that reparation payments should be in line with today's average cost of owning a home in a state which is estimated to be around $800,000. The Daily Mail reports. Think of that, California, $800,000 on average for a home. That is insane right there. And of course, you know, California tax, actually uh, taxes the hell out of you over there too. Now, let's just say they actually do get the $800,000. Is California going to tax this? I don't know, just asking. And by the way, you black people that's falling for this, you're paying for your own reparations. Your tax dollars would actually go into this. So basically, you know, you're paying for your own reparations. Uh, Jenkins, a self-described hip hop organizer, said in an interview following the public hearing of the task force that either they're going to comply or it's going to be a serious backlash. According to the Daily Mail, Jenkins ran for president in 2016 and 2020 and ran for U.S. Senate in California in 2022, all of which were unsuccessful. Of course it was. Uh, quote, two hundred thousand dollars is nothing for what my family has contributed to this country. He told the committee earlier in the day, we built this country. We served this country honorably. We need reparations. Governor Newsom launched a five hundred and sixty nine billion dollar reparations plan at the end of last month based on the task force panel's recommendation to deliver two hundred and twenty three thousand two hundred dollars to each black descendant of African slavery who is a resident of California. In a speech given before the task force meetings, Jenkins said, uh, quote, defense, money, land grants four elements of every society, every nation, a defense structure economy land and having access to that economy. If that is not going to be addressed, if that is not being addressed, reparations will not hold. He added 
reparations. Repair is the root word. We cannot have repair if those elements are not addressed. Where you where you think they're getting this money from? Eight hundred thousand dollars. Now, inflation is already bad. Has you actually thought about the economic impact of if California actually did give eight hundred thousand dollars to every black person? Yeah, that that month, your dollar is just going to get less and less and less is going to already contribute to the high prices in California as it is. And we know, folks, if you give people just eight hundred thousand dollars like that, guess what? They're going to blow it all. And you know what? They'll be back in um, two, three years talking about, hey, we need more. The chair of the task force, uh, Camila, Kamala, Kamala V. Moore, gave a series of interviews the day before the public hearings uh, began to clarify some of the misconceptions surrounding the reparations, such as that everyone who applies for the program will receive the full recommended amount. Uh, she confirmed that only people who were impacted by housing discrimination in California between 1933 and 1977 will be eligible to apply for the maximum amount. Uh, quote, in reality, that number will be minimized when you take into account the fact that the task force decided in March that the community of eligibility would be lineage based rather than race based. So probably, folks, it may actually be a whole bunch of black people that don't even get a dime. Think about that. For the most part, you know, during the years of like the 1930s, all the way to the 70s, most black people live in the South and then they started to move out. So I'm beginning to wonder how many black people would actually be eligible anyway for these quote unquote reparations. I'm curious about that. I really am, guys. I mean, if you black people actually fall for this, you're fools. See, they already changed the game. First, they said, hey, if you're descended from um, African slaves, are hey, you going to get reparations? Now they said, oh, no, 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 we're not going to do that. By the way, you're not getting the whole maximum amount. It's actually going to be based on lineage rather than race. So I guess if uh, white people were discriminated against during that time period as well, I guess they can apply to now. You see, they kind of changed the game and Democrats play a game here. You know, Joe Biden d does the same thing. I mean, Joe Biden and Gavin Newsom, they're just a branch off the same tree right there. Don't fall for this. Don't fall for this. But there's people out there thinking, yeah, I'm going to get my two hundred and twenty three thousand. No, you're not. You're not getting a dime. Trust me. Do you think that. The Democrats really want to give you. Almost five hundred and seventy billion dollars. Maybe if you're Ukraine, you know, Ukraine, you know, they're all for that. But when it comes to American citizens, no, no, that's not going to happen. And they know this. They are duping you. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.